it kind of looked like a little bit. But I was like, whatever. Wait, what? It don't. How many it look like it to me? I mean, it's it, it's it's like the regular amount for forty, but it's just like it's usually he be giving me so much for forty. But that's why I just gotta go back to someone and getting it for me. True, true, true. What's going on YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co-host Tanea. Hey guys. Are you going to shop? I was going for my mother's birthday gift. And we are back with an all new video. Today is Wednesday, November. I mean, mm. whoa. A question um september oh, okay cool <laughs> i can actually send you a picture of the exact ones i want send them to you okay great um september the 26th it is the day before my little sister's birthday happy birthday Brittany! she's turning 25 tomorrow mm, the big t5 I wish I could go back to mine. I don't even remember what I did for my 25th birthday. Your 25th, was that the year we went to, um, to, uh, what's that Chinese spot? P.F. Chains. P.F. Chains. Was that the year? Hold on, no. That was only a few years ago, Tiffany. Wow. No, that was not a few years ago. We were with Travis and Irwin. First of all, that was not too long ago. Bitch. And I don't think so. No, what I'm, cause I'm, I'm going by my two jobs. I wasn't, we wasn't friends with them then. Tanea, when we went, I actually have it on video. On is that YouTube. my 25th? I thought that was like, I said, I was age. asking, was that your 25th? No, that's what I'm saying. I don't think that's my 25th birthday. Anyway, we're back with an only video. This is actually, this is actually Mama Nae's birthday video. I'm wearing a, I love Mama Nae shirt. Where did you get that from? This? Mm -hmm. I'm off the website. Really? The website is still up if you guys want Ramonade shirts. I love Tiffany shirts. I love Tanea shirts. They're still up there. I had no idea we had a Ramonade shirt. Who designed that? Tanea, this shirt has been out for years. Never saw it's it. It's a little jokey joke. Never saw it before. This is her birthday episode. Her <laughs> birthday is on Friday. Ramonade, I'm going to give her a pass because it's her wow. birthday, but she is playing with our time. Yeah, because she was supposed to take her little ass to the nail shop tomorrow that's what she well did. let's start here her birthday video was supposed to be yesterday i let it slide because it wasn't a lot of topics it rained a lot and she got stuck in dc for work till like seven o'clock at night so i gave her a pass i told her we're going to do it today i call her i mean i waited it's like six i'm like where's nene at i call her oh i'm at the nail salon See, now we can't push it back no more because tomorrow is my sister's birthday. Right. The next day is Nene's birthday and Tanea has like friend activities planned and Saturday is like whatever we're doing for her birthday. Like we can't push this video back anymore because it's really not that many topics, but I wanted to give you guys the chance to tell her, you know, express your love for her and y'all know she is pressed for love. So I wanted her to feel special, but she is playing games. What's I want y'all to see? I know a lot of y'all have not seen her since she has had her weight loss surgery. Yep. Let me tell y'all, she can Snatch. squeeze right in the middle of us. Skin tea. But yeah, so she playing without time, but we done baked the cake and shit. Well, Tanae baked the cake. You know what? I, I don't want to keep starting these videos out like this, but I just have to. It, you have to give a person like Tanae acknowledgement because she craves it. Thank you. I need acknowledgement. Tanae? I don't even know where to begin. Like, I don't know. Like, I just feel like I'm glad that we had that event video. Shout out to everybody that watched the event video. I saw a lot of y'all loved it. And it inspired you guys. I have another shout out too, but before I go to her, mm -hmm. I just want to give a shout out to Tanea. Like, literally, she's just been like since the event video, she has had like two more fucking interviews. And like, this bitch is like cooking, cooking every night, like cooking good food. Like, last night she made honey garlic wings, it was so fucking good. Sunday, I mean, my, was that Sunday? Sunday, she went like market, market, like really tried to stock the house up, really cleaned up real good, did yummy hair. Today, she made lasagna for no fucking reason. You know, I cry for lasagna. She made lasagna, like the house is clean. This bitch is damn near taking care of me these days. Like, I, I don't know if this is just. Yet she won't marry me so I can go to school for free. Here we go again. 
I just want y'all to let her know. The thing is, is that this is what my mother always tells me. You have to be nice to people because you never know who's going to have to give you a cold glass of water. And what she's really, that's, that's literally <laughs> what she said. So but I, it's like I heard that right when you said. But it. the thing is, is that she y'all y'all heard what she said, but do y'all get what she's saying? Like you really have to be nice to people and take care of people. Like me and Tanae have different seasons where we take care of each other. Now in the past, younger when Tanae was crazy, wild, and didn't give a fuck about responsibilities, <laughs> I took care of her. I raised her from like 17 <laughs> she to really about 27. Did. She really did. My, yeah. my best friend raised me to be an adult. I did. <laughs> I had to. I was out here wilding. Wilding. Wilding hard. So it's just like. I would say to like 23. Yeah, it's a it's a nice time. It's a nice time being able to go to Tanea for help. I tell you, Tanea is like Tanea and my mother are two of the. I don't depend on people. Let's start there. But I can depend on these two, and I'm very thankful because some people don't have anybody they can depend on. So it's just really a good feeling. Because in the past, you know, I could depend on Tanea for a good meal. <laughs> Hairstyle, baby. No, because back then, back then, y'all, I only wore ponytail. I never wore my hair blowed out. I would cry. Tanae, can you please brush my toilet? No, you want to learn how to brush. And the reason why I didn't wear my hair out was because she would not wrap it. It took me years to learn how to wrap my own hair because Tanae would not wrap my hair for me, y'all. Because I just didn't understand. Like I wrap my hair every night. Why are you not looking? Why are you not paying attention? Tanae, Why are nobody you not did my ponytail this? as good as Tanae would. Tanae would not do my ponytail. Only if we had something like important to do, she would do it. But like she would not do my ponytail. So, but anyway, I just want to give a shout out to my best friend because she's just the best. Thanks, Tiff. So, we didn't do much this weekend. We haven't been doing shit this week, but I've been fucking working. It's been fucking raining. Mm, it's been raining hot. Let me tell you. So. I thought that the rain was supposed to come earlier in the day. Mm -hmm. So I never put out the recycling. Oh, yeah. That it's was raining. raining now. Mm -hmm. But I'm, this recycling about to get the fuck up out of here. So. We had, does anybody else have a lot of recycling every week? We have so much Do y'all recycle? Because like our city and state makes us recycle Like at this point. Like if we don't, I think we may get a fine. So, so wait a minute. Because we only have one trash day, so we have to recycle. I want to give a shout out to, I don't know, I know her YouTube name is Marky Slaughter. I don't know if that's her name name, but that's her name on YouTube. I was on YouTube yesterday. Every now and then I like to watch certain videos of ours. I have my favorites. I actually was watching some of our vlogs recently. I'm so happy that we've done these vlogs because I get to, I was watching like our fish fry. That was in March. The puppies are so much bigger mm. now. Like when I saw them on a video, I was like, then I was watching the Thanksgiving one and just watching Rex help today with the turkey. Literally from Thanksgiving to today, you had so much at bigger. The door coming to the door? Uh uh. Oh, because that was the. Today! Uh -uh. I'm here to help you with the turkey! No, I had That's exactly how he came to the door. But I'm so happy that we had these memories on top of you guys being able to see our lives. But while i was going through them i saw her video and it said shout out to my favorite youtubers it had me it had ashley and it had a couple others so i said oh my god and it was like she had recorded i think like maybe last week or a couple days ago i don't know whoa so i watched it and i was blown away like i was like oh my god if i would have never searched our name i would have never saw it mm -hmm. but she, and i saw a couple other things too but anyway, she gave us a shout out in her video and she was just saying, you know, I love Tiffany and Tanea. I get this from all the people, a lot of people that our videos are long, but we we are actually a YouTube video that people actually will sit and watch an hour of. Thank you, y'all. And she was just like, you know, <laughs> Tiffany is so pharaoh and she was like, sometimes, you know, Tanea will make a face at... Tiffany and I'm making the same face at her. She was like, I really just feel like they're my cousins in my That's head. So like, I funny. love them so much. And she was just talking. To, she was really giving shout outs to people who have inspired her to start YouTube. Which, if we can inspire you to do YouTube, YouTube? oh That's my god, amazing. like it's That's like, amazing. Each so. one, reach one, each one, teach one. Hello, yes. So I just had to give a shout out to her. I'm so happy that I ran across that video because I would have never did that. And then I was watching our Made in America video and cracking the fuck up. Cracking the fuck what up. What happened? I'm gonna have to go. I never rewatch our videos. Uh, I never rewatch them. Once we do them, 
I never see them unless mm. somebody like upload uploads something. That's why I really enjoy the show page. Mm. On, um, I do. I enjoy, I the, enjoy show the show page mm. so much mm -hmm. on IG just because it's just like. If it wasn't for him controlling that page, I would never re-see these videos. Mm -hmm. And they are funny. They funny as shit. Fuck. Friday, I was hollering. Fuck. Somebody put up the one from us talking about, um, what was we talking about? Oh, we was talking about power. Mm -hmm. Um, and we was talking about the first time that, um... Angel, James saw Angel. Uh -huh. And I was like, no, these niggas be like, oh my god, I love you so much. Let me come fuck your life up. That's so funny because I really believe that. I stand by you. you so it's it. just like it was you oh, wow. It. it was you that said I it. It, I can't believe I said it because it's something that I truly believe. So it was just it's funny. But anyway, <laughs> one of the highlights of the weekend other than us running errands and spending money was um Tamika came down. Um, because she wanted some fried fish, she said it weeks ago. Yes, and I told her, y'all, I told y'all, I'm trying my best to go keto. So I was like, get that fish and potatoes in now, right. home girl. And um, you know, if it's out now, I think the last time I talked about it, she hadn't all the way all been a bit out. But Tamika is expecting a baby. We love to feed pregnant we people. We love to feed pregnant people, and we love to feed babies. Yes. So I'm so excited the time that this baby is going to be born mm -hmm. because, let me tell you, I mean I feel like he should be ready by Easter, but Tamika may not feel like that. No, not Easter, okay. Bitch. Well, Thanksgiving, mother, Thanksgiving. We'll push it to Thanksgiving. He'll be ready for sweet potatoes. I cannot wait to feed him. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. But um, she wanted some fried fish and she asked for potatoes. I asked Nene to make me some potato salad. I did. Well, I actually didn't get around to. I had it on my mind all week, but she got busy. Tane told me she was gonna make some. It was probably God that stopped it because I don't make potato. Tane does not make potato salad. I said Tamika asked for fried <laughs> fish and fried potatoes. Tamika gets here. That's what I had. Tamika gets here. We're chilling. Watching TV, Tanea says the food is done. We get to the table, it's fried fish, fried shrimp, greens, double eggs, fried potatoes, cornbread with the Texas Roll House butter. Was there anything else? No, I didn't know. It's just like I don't think Tanea knows how to not make a spread. Now, I was just looking at that that lasagna you made. Mm -hmm. I can't believe she made a small lasagna. I'm actually in shock. Right? Isn't it so little and cute? I didn't know that you were capable of doing that. I didn't know that. I was either. I didn't know I was capable I was of making in shock. a lasagna that small. Yeah, but shout out to Tamika because <coughs> I got my life. Everything was good. Everything was so fucking good. How do you feel good. about the green? The did you eat them? I did eat a little bit. They didn't taste like your regular greens. Mm -hmm, I don't know. What did you do? Nothing was on the plane. I, I, I knew something was off. They didn't taste like your regular greens, but they weren't nasty. Okay. They just didn't taste like your regular Yeah, greens. I did something different. We'll talk about it later. But that was what <laughs> <laughs> that was what we did. But let's get into this video. Um, I'm trying to stretch it. Trying to wait for Nene, but I, I can see now I'm going to this, this video point, up. I'm hello. And I'm so pissed off, y'all. The reason that it took so long for the video the other day to come out was because I was trying to put the new intro on. For some reason, the intro was making the, the video. Y'all saw the video. It was like over an hour. When I uploaded it with the intro, it will only upload 20 minutes. I don't know why it was fucking doing that. I want y'all to see this intro so bad. I'm so in love with it. So I'm going to have to figure something out. If it's not on this video, I'm going to try to make it be on the next one. I'm just going to keep working on it. But anyway, so um, the first thing we want to do is give a shout out to Will Smith because yesterday was his birthday. Oh, happy birthday, baby. Do y'all know that that's Tanae's husband? When I tell you, when I tell you, I have been in, this, in love with this man since probably the age of three. Mm. Like, it's my longest relationship. Wow. Yeah. I loved him that long. Wow. I, see, I've always liked men. Less. I've always liked men. Um, grown ass men too. Uh, that, that's but, the um, that's the that's weird. You know what I used to like oh. Bobby Brown. But yeah, Will Smith was my man. Mm hmm. But yesterday, <laughs> I mean, uh, if you're not following Will Smith's Instagram, you are really missing it's, out. Why do you have Instagram? It's so good. Like I don't know who's editing these videos and shit for him. Like it, it's just a good time. It, it like is a good time. he's just such a. 
you know how comedians are today like they have to be hurtful you know what i mean like sometimes they just go below the belt or they're corny as mm -hmm. fuck like will smith is genuinely funny and just a good fucking person a positive so person. positive like he's a liar it's just he's so many good things he's about him treasure it's so many i good love that man him. it's so many so good many things, about things. Him. Like, i love will smith i could so talk much. about will smith cry, for an entire man. video like literally this man is an actor I love will smith so he's much. a comedian He's inspiring. He's a fucking singer, a rapper. Like he's everything. He's a great dad. Like I don't. He is everything. I don't know. I found out yesterday we had the same fear. Oh yeah. Rodents. Yeah. Like it's just like. Yeah. Well, I love you. But he had been talking about on his page for weeks and weeks and weeks that he was doing um, a heli jump for his fiftieth birthday. Mm. He would be jumping out of a helicopter over top of the Grand Canyon. Me and Tanae watched the whole thing. It was intense. Ooh, it was intense. Let me tell you something. Intense. So watch the. I could say on Tanae like Will Smith is not my fave. I just I'm, I respect him mm -mm. so much. He's one but, of my favorite. See people like in the world. I, it was no way that I could watch the fave. Like I couldn't watch Beyonce Holly. My stomach was hurting. I kept on telling Tiffany like Tiffany. My stomach is hurting. Like my this was just such a big risk. Like are you fucking. Bungee jumping over top of the fucking I'm Grand Canyon. Think, you know what it almost reminded me of? What? Do you remember that episode of Fresh Prince of Bel Air when Hillary's husband proposed to her? That's what everybody was talking bitch. about, yeah. Bitch. Yeah. That's all I can yeah, think of. That's what everybody was talking about. <laughs> that's so funny. Banks, will you marry Father? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he survived, so I was very happy. But another thing I wanted to say about his birthday, because I saw a lot of people commenting. You know, the first person was Fancy, and she posted a picture of her and Will Smith kissing. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy it. Um, I know a lot of people were like, you know, because they, they swingers anyway. They done probably fucked and bought it in the bedroom anyway. I just didn't like it. It was tasteless to me. Did you see what the fuck August Alcina put up to Jada Pinkett? See, I didn't know. He put up a love letter to that bitch. Like, uh, hello. Point. It was almost like, it was almost on the same level as Drake and Rihanna on the fucking MTV Awards when he's talking about how much he, he loved it since he was 16. All right. Like, that kind of weird shit. It, that made me uncomfortable reading it. I didn't see it. But I'm, gonna get it I'm just speaking from how I feel. Okay. Then this bitch Vivica Fox decides to put up a picture of her and Will kissing too as a birthday shout out. So I'm gonna tell you something. No, fuck time. that. Don't ever do that with nobody I'm in love with because I'm coming for you. I'm stabbing you. But the thing about it is Jada is so don't give a fuck. Like she she don't give a fuck about nothing. That's I don't like, care. That's I mean, even I always tell Tiffany she I hate Jada, her. but I really do love her. That's crazy. I never even looked his ass up before, and it was the first thing that popped up. Does it? Oh no, hold on, that's not it. Anyway, shout out to um, Listen to this shit. I don't believe in this is not to his wife. This is to come on. I don't believe in luck. I believe in God's divine order. And you are an example of God's divinity and it's covering over my life. A beautifully complex individual you are. I could spend a lifetime decoding you. Thank you for your laughter. Thank you for seeing my heart and character and not measuring me based upon what I come from. You see me for who I am and what I'm going to be even when I can't see me. Thank you for challenging me on a daily basis. You're a little piece of heaven here on earth. The fortune in my cookie, the vet to my rookie. You are love personified. There hasn't been enough diction created to articulate or express the capacity of my love for you. It is simply beyond measure and human comprehension. So as my soul continues this quest, I would like to say happy birthday. You're nothing like the rest. What the motherfuck? Will Smith ain't even do all that. Birthday, baby. I don't know what to say right now. He's disrespectful. That had that shit made fancy shit look like rugrats, like cartoons. Well, that was a lot. Don't. Do I that. want somebody to say that about me, and that's not even her nigga. She is a nice person, though. I get it. I, I that shit was crazy. 
spend a lifetime decoding you. Nigga, that's somebody else's wife. Yikes. Um, moving on. I guess we'll just go ahead and write into <laughs> um, Bill Cosby why today is on the road. Free my nigga Bill. That's all I'm going to say. Heal me forever. That's all I'm going to say about it. Free I'm my nigga sure, Bill. I'm sure you guys will be in the comments. But the thing is, is that yesterday uh, was Bill Cosby sentencing. Um, first, we found out that. Hey, hold on. Here's the birthday girl. Hello. Can you get Connie and you open up the door so I can get in? All right. Well, you're playing and I wanna run. Yeah, sure. I don't think you want. Right. Even when it's sunshine, you wanna run. Bye. Uh, Simone, Hi. can you open the door for Nay? Yeah. The thing is, yesterday Bill Cosby was sentenced uh three to ten years in prison. I'm here. I heard today that he was transferred to maximum security. So the three to ten mean like one in five months. I thought that he would have to do the minimum of three years. Oh, okay. I just didn't know because I, I don't know what jail what jail terms mean. Because oh, okay. sometimes people yeah, be three years and Some, then they be out in eight months. Yeah. So I just don't know. Yeah, but um, I completely understand that Bill Cosby, um, you know, raped these women. I believe... I believe that any man that... Anybody that rapes or harms someone you know you do the crime you do the time it does not matter that he's black it does not matter that he is everybody's favorite tv dad it is what it is you know especially when me and today talked about it months and months ago i said the same thing but yesterday actually finding out that he was arrested How'd you feel? at the age of 81 like i just i did i'm not gonna lie to y'all like i did feel bad i did feel bad like that doesn't mean that i didn't want him to not Go to jail. Why are they not in the case? Why is he on my fucking popular page? <laughs> Can you put your phone down? Sorry. I I actually did feel bad. And that's not to say that, oh, I feel bad for a rapist. Right. Or, oh, you know, y'all supporting this rapist. It wasn't like that. Like It's I, just like you genuinely feel bad. I, did. I mean, it didn't mean, like, I felt so sad for Bill. Like, it just felt bad to actually know that all of this was really going down. Like... Bill Cosby, 81 years old, going to jail for like three to ten years. So it was just, I don't know. I just felt some type of way yesterday. You know, I saw the internet arguing back and forth. I've seen Amber Rose talking. I've seen, you know, people like, I can't believe y'all supporting a rapist. Like, I mean, everybody's going to have their opinions, but I just can't believe it. I just, I, I really appreciate the people on social media who was like, I have mixed emotions. Because it's just like, that's what I've just been saying from the, the get-go. Like, let's just be honest here. Like... It's just like when you're watching your favorite show and you're like, I can't wait for that person to die. And then when they die, you'd be like, shit, they right, died? Right. Like James from Scandal. Yeah. We wanted James to die for so long. When James died, we were so sad. So, because what I'm saying is, I'm not saying, I'm, if, if Bill Cosby did in fact rape women, he definitely needs to go to jail. Mm -hmm. He definitely needs to be punished. But with that, it's still sad to me that uh, that he had that he has to go to jail. Like it's just a sad thing. Now my whole thing with the old ordeal is this lady, this one lady, who is the reason why he's going to jail. Her case, I just don't believe he raped her. I believe she came over to get fucked. Like, and that's just what it is. Nobody's going to change my mind. God can come and tell me that's the only way because that's the only way we'll know the truth. But instead, until then, we can we we have our own speculations. We have no proof that he did or did not. So you can't jump down my throat and be mad at me if I don't believe the same thing you believe. I, if he did it, I believe that he should be punished. But I don't believe he did it to her. I'm not saying he didn't do it to anyone. He didn't do it to her. That's my only thing. But again. I'm about to get my free bill hoodie made. And I'm gonna be wearing that shit till he get out. I already asked him, he's like, you think he's accepting visitors? Like, so I'm gonna see if I can get in touch with his wife to see if I can start writing them. I mean, I'm just saying, I, if, when y'all come in these comments, just remember that this is the one that y'all be like, you know, I like Tiffany, but Tanea is my fave. <laughs> this bitch is a Bill Cosby, R. Kelly loving ass bitch. Like, she love all the psychos. I'm My mind is telling me no. See? She think it's a fucking game. <laughs> she think it's a <laughs> Shut up, shut up, shut up. Body telling me yes. Nay. Sorry. 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 Nay, Nay. I'm going to call you in like 15 minutes. Say it again. 
I'm gonna call you in like 15 minutes. Okay, I'll be ready. She's she ready. She ready. Press Tina. Oh, I forgot. See, that's what I'm saying. You can bake it frozen. It's tilapia. Yikes. Anyway, um, moving on from that, we did watch Napoli Ever After on Friday. I actually need to rewatch it. I'm yeah, sure we probably missed a lot. I'm sure my sister's watching this. My sister's house is really not the a good place to watch a movie. <laughs> at all. Uh, good and also oh, it's not good to watch a movie with Tanea and Mia at the same time because they talk too much. They talk back. Now you're saying it about everybody at this point. You say it with Tori, you say it with Simone, you say it with me. I like, don't God say, damn. Not Tori. Because Tori will be like, uh uh, I need to hear. You and Mia, Tanea was sitting next to me. Mia was across the room. They were literally shouting to each other back and forth. That's because Mia be shouting at me, so I just thought we all should be talking in a loud, a loud volume. Nene, 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 what are you doing? I, you just need to put your fish in the inside of the oven. Turn the oven on. Do not microwave it because it's gonna cook in the microwave. It's gonna mess it up. Okay. Or you, if you want to thaw it first, put it in some hot water. I don't have an aluminum pan, mom. She oh, it's um, I'm sorry, y'all. No. Okay, great. Don't put it in the microwave though because it's gonna mess it up. Okay. All right. Anyway, yeah, she's a um. What was I talking about? Yeah. So I I have to rewatch it, but from what I saw, it was pretty good. It was pretty. You good. know, I know a lot of people said that they thought that it was a mini series. I never thought that. I don't know what information you guys know. read. I don't know. I I mean, I just like I heard about it, but. Yeah, I did. I mean, it all makes sense because I have been trying to figure out why Sanaa Lathan had cut her hair off, but I heard she got paid a pretty penny for this movie, and mm. you know, if At I had the point, coin, I probably would shave mine and get a lace front. I would do what I had to do. That shit would grow back so fast. You probably would get the bush that you always wanted to. I probably would. Don't yeah. give me any ideas. Yeah, but it was it was good for what it was. It was I give it a seven for me. I give it a seven. Okay. I give it a seven. What you give it? I mean, it's a black lady. I was gonna give it a nine. I'll give it a seven. I don't really care to watch it over and over again. Y'all know me. I get obsessed with stuff. It was kind of like I watched it and it was just like okay. Yeah, I want to watch it again. Yeah. It was okay. Um. Also, I don't know if you guys saw Lena Waithe, who is the director and creator of The Shy. I call her Lena with the E. So bad. I is know. It? No, it is Waithe. Oh, but I just want to say Lena with a E. Oh, okay. I don't know why that is something wrong with me. Um, and uh, she is doing the sequel for Boomerang, and I hear that Holly Berry has joined. Uh, she has come aboard. I'm gonna have to reach out. Uh, How do I get to be a part of that? Well, see, my I thing. Like Boomerang. I know you love Boomerang. I like Boomerang too, but it's just like sometimes it's just. Classics, you gotta be careful what you do. Hold on, is Eartha Kitt one of these? You gotta be careful what you do with these classics, you man. Oh no, she. I feel like she's gonna do a good job. She's a black lady. She's young. She like, is. I feel like I have a lot. I have a lot of faith in her with this. I just need to know how I can. I just can be an extra. If it's still gonna be like them working in the agency, I can just be a person that like. Oh, I can be the mail pusher, like it was in the original movie. Please, Lena, please. I make sure we so make bad. sure we add her. Oh my god! Speaking of a sh uh, a person with a show, did you see Ashley the other day? She had said that she decided not to review Empire. I saw that she was gonna start reviewing Star and fucking what's his name? Good Daddy E. I don't uh, know. Lee Daniel was gonna yeah. come under her. Nigga, people was at Ashley like, I hope that he plan on giving you some money. Check, 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 check. He tried it. Like, was he searching the hashtag or something? I don't, I'm not sure what he was doing, but the thing about it is, you know, Ash, I don't watch it. So, <laughs> if you're ready to stop doing your review on it, that's, I'm, I'm, I'm here to support you. Shout out so, to the people who still watch Empire. Does it come on tonight? I don't know when Empire comes on. It's just like, it's so many things I could be doing other than watching Empire. Like, so many. True. Clipping my toenails, sweeping the floor. Playing with the puppies, taking out the trash, 
All right. Like, it's just so many things we that I it. could do than watch Empire. We got it. I would rather my TV be off so I won't be spending money on electricity. But whenever I just randomly put Empire on, this bitch be in it and cracking the fuck up. It's garbage. <laughs> it's like, it's so bad. Like, I be laughing because it's so bad. Like, I just be like, wow. This is so... Because, and I gotta be paying attention because this... What happened? <laughs> Bitch, you can watch this for 40 minutes and you confused? Like, what do you mean? I don't know nothing. It's like ABC. I barely know they're the character names anymore. Are they, is everyone still alive? I don't know. They said they think Hakeem dead because they ain't seen none of the promos. Which one is Hakeem? The rapper. The younger one? Yeah. Oh, dang, Hakeem. It was time. Oh. Well, I'm not. That, that's that's not for sure, guys. I'm just telling you what I heard. <laughs> Um, but why we real quick before I go off my mind because I'm about to say it last week. Can I tell you something? I want to give a shout out to Messy Miles because you know for years I used to just see Miles on people's timelines and stuff like I had never followed him. I remember years and years and years ago when him and one of his friends were Kevin and Mikel for Halloween like I never really really I do remember that. Mm -hmm. Dang, that was so long ago. I never really really got into Miles until these past two years and it's the best decision that I ever made. Like he is so fucking funny. Miles to me and Kid Fury are two of the funniest people on social media. Period. Like on YouTube and shit. Like they're just genuine. It's just in them. Genuinely funny. They don't. It's just in them to be funny. Look, like let me tell you something Miles. Okay. When you get your show, you better make me a male lady. Make Listen. me an extra push in the cart. We're going to talk about it later. No, but, but no, what I have to tell y'all about is because, see, no, y'all don't understand. Ruffle of the day is my life right now. Do you dance when you... Yo. It's one of the first things I see on my timeline every morning. I enjoy it so much. Y'all don't understand. I love Ruffle of the Day so much. Like, it's like, I think the other day he didn't put one up. And I was just like, and I hate the weekends because we don't get Ruffle of the Day. I live it's just like for a Ruffle of the Miles, fucking Day. I'm ready for the Ruffle X shirt, okay? I am a Ruffle X, okay? Let me tell you, I'm a. I'm ready for that Ruffle X shirt, okay? I'm just trying to figure out how I can be like head Ruffle X. Because I really love Tosh. First of all, can we get into her? She's, she's fucking so gorgeous. She is so cute because she's just so like giggly and bubbly. No, but it's like, why every day? I mean, I know that she knows he's coming. Because he's probably funny. <laughs> but every day. He's walking towards you every, every day. Every single day. It's just like, it's like the first time all over again. And she giggles. No. And laughs. I so love funny. when she be like, hey, Ruffalette. <laughs> it's like, hey, he like, <laughs> say hi to her. It's almost like how Nicki Minaj be talking to the kingdom. I can't. Hey, Ruffalette. Hey, hey, hey. It's time for Ruffalette today. Oh, that's so nasty ruffle right there. That ruffle, girl. Oh, and then the fact that he has to whisper because they're working. And then the, the accent. <laughs> the accent. See, my hey, favorite. That goddamn Western Day. <laughs> and that bandana. <laughs> no. Wow. I, I watched it like four times. I just kept on no. like, going back to it and like That white one on oh. Monday? That white one, she ain't never gonna. Homegirl no. came to slay. Listen, you know, I immediately thought about Beyonce coming out in like one of her white dresses. Bitch, like, they started singing Ave Maria. In exactly, the that's what it looked like. I said, Oh, we stand, we stand for Queen Ruffle. I don't oh, give a fuck. She is such a humble today. Queen. She had we a little baby a Ruffle, queen. and you know what? I'm not even gonna lie to y'all because I know some of y'all did this too. I said it to my friend the other day, and she said she did it too. I went to her page. And I went all the way back. She ain't got that many pictures, but I went back. This ain't no show. She been wearing ruffles since like 2007, bitch. <laughs> this ain't no fucking mild show. Like, she really wearing ruffles. Every day. The fact the ruffleettes have been donating to her cash app to stock up her funds for ruffles. ruffles. It's, it's not like, a game. It's not a fucking game. I live for Queen Ruffles. Shout out to Miles. I can't wait for tomorrow. Today she gave us a little baby ruffle. Yesterday she gave us a fall church robe ruffle. And that day before that damn white one, I almost fainted. It was beautiful. Yeah, you notice yesterday she had the lip matched. Shirt. Yes. Yes, I did. Come on, Tosh. Whew. I had to really get into that. If y'all not messy miles on Instagram, if y'all don't know, go back and look at all of the ruffles of the day and get your fucking life. Get your life. That's a good time. 
So Tanea, mm. tell us about this Nicki Minaj hashtag. It is the funniest. Because I know the Bob love her so much. Oh my god, it's so funny. It's so funny. I wish you would do stuff like this more often and just like make fun of stuff because it's so funny. Um, so today someone, um, some young lady came on the internet um with T.S. Madison is mm -hmm. that her name um basically said the same thing as you know little Kim Remy and Cardi that Nikki tried to stop her bag mm -hmm. and Nikki you know stopped her from getting on um a red carpet and it's so funny because she was like because she's actually personally done it me and T.S. Yes, Madison said who are you like <laughs> she did it to you so that was kind of funny but anyway so um get to the point all right so with that um i'm trying to think what happened okay so everybody was just talking about that all day like Nicki minaj the bag stealer and so then somebody had tweeted something about their uber driver being named chun lee mm -hmm. so Nicki minaj retweeted it and was like oh i guess i'm uh, i'm undercover bitch i'm about to go and st i'm stealing bags today mm -hmm. so from that like they started uh Nicki minaj um it's called it's hashtag like Nicki stop my bag or mm -hmm. something like that it's so fucking funny i've been laughing at them all day i haven't been retweeting it for y'all because i know y'all probably don't want to see it on your timeline Thank but you. I did, I did do like two because they were just I'm too really funny, tired of barbs. Y'all are really out of control. They just trying to have a good time and it's just like nobody wants them to have a good time. Nobody wants them to have fun. So it's just like I'm going to have a fun time myself. Um, but speaking of Nicki Minaj, I also see that Cardi B is overseas. Uh, is it Paris Fashion Week or something? What's going on over there? Um, I know it was Milan. It may be Paris this week, yeah. She is just really, you know, Cardi B, a story. Wow. Like, she really came from the ground mm -hmm. up. Did y'all see her in that outfit with the feathers? The feathers the was thing? my favorite. It was it my shut favorite. shut everything down. It was my favorite. She had the formation outfit on the other day. Like, just congratulations to Cardi. And, you know, as much as I want to see culture, do not, just don't. Don't. Because I just rather you stay calm. You are not going to be the kind of person that can handle the criticism when people start talking about mm -hmm. her. I don't even want to see it. So just don't. Right. Don't. I would honestly, I would love for Nicki Minaj to, I mean, not Nicki Minaj, I would love for Cardi B to live that turn my notifications off social media. Oh yeah, but she likes um, it. She would because like it. it's just like I really, really do enjoy Cardi B, and I really enjoy Cardi B the most when she's not problematic. Mm -hmm. Just because I mean I know everybody else, you know I love Cardi B. She's so real. She gets it out there anyway. Mm -hmm. But it's, to me, it's just like she's an adult with bad behavior. Right. And like if you if we just sell it down to that, like we don't. Con we don't condone bad behavior from children, so I just don't understand why it's such a great thing that we condone bad behavior from an adult. But either way, I just like it when Cardi B is just like taking pictures, putting out music, doing like really positive things because anything else is just like it's it's, it's too much. Um. So Beyonce was in LA this weekend. Yep. Oh no, hold on. Uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that Beyonce did it. I know. Oh. I saw a lot of people say, I saw somebody say the other day, Beyonce had more celebrities at the LA shows than the VMAs had seen in years. It, it was ridiculous, that list. Honestly, I just don't get it. Like, you guys will come out for a Beyonce concert, but you won't come to these award shows. Every celebrity that you can think of was at these fuck, at, mm -hmm. at these two concerts. Every single one. I just, you know, that's Beyonce, why I'm going to have to go to an LA one. It's just what it is. You know, to me, I did see a, a, one of our viewers, they were saying, because there was a lot of rumors that LA wasn't really pumped. Because in the videos, it, they didn't the seem as live. Didn't look yeah, it wasn't live. as live, but he said that they were really, really lit. I don't know. Okay. But the celebrities were there. You know, Oprah was fucking there. The Kardashians. Auntie Oates. The Kardashians were there. Auntie Oates. Yeah. O is... She's on another level. Shout out to Tamar. Um, I saw Tamar on Instagram and she was just saying that, you know, she unfortunately Club Carter had sold out. So she decided to go ahead and get her some little seats in section 100. Her and her friend was going. She went and got her little Versace outfit. Like the video... Like 
the ape shit video she said she was ready this was her first beyonce concert well next thing i know i saw tina in her comments talking about some check your dm and tamar was on the floor and i said that's right tamar get your life the only thing that could have been better is why beyonce bring her backstage for what to get a picture for what she was a fan that wanted a picture Make she's not bringing all the fans back there she ain't bringing me back there the fuck you're not Tamar Braxton. I'm a, be- I'm a bigger fan than fucking Tamar Braxton. I've been to all the goddamn concerts, bitch. How you emulate her and this is your first concert? I Go ahead, she- tell you. I think I'm she- not here. <laughs> no. The fuck? And I felt bad for calling Deja from This Is Us last night a bald-head-ass little girl. Ah! You did! You call her a bald-head-ass little girl? Why the fuck would Because, no, that's different. I'm sick of her little bald head ass. Ah, I'm sick of her little but so funny. Yeah, so shout out to Beyonce. You know, I'm really getting tired of you counting down, but I already cried about that last episode. I mean, right. last video. I'm not going to deal with her counting down. We're not excited about this being over. I don't like it unless you're Yeah, because I'm something. like so comfortable with just seeing pictures of Beyonce every day, videos of her every day. And like, unless you're about to drop something. Or be more it. active on social media. Save it. Save then, it. And give us your fucking Snapchat. Save it. Then... Shout out to the Braxtons though. Tomorrow is the day that they will be on Ayanla Fix My Life. I am so mm, upset mm, that I will not be able to live tweet it because I'm gonna make sure that shit is recorded. Oh hell yeah! Okay. So, I'm trying to get home at least by 9:30 so I can see it. See, because my favorite is Tony. Tony never gets really upset. Tony she never amazing. really gets upset, excited. She's literally the same all the time. Happy and sad. I don't like my family. I love my family. She's always the same. And Tony is me. It's just like I, it's, you know, I love y'all, but I don't like a lot of y'all bitches here anyway. Yes. Yeah, so. so it's just like yes, Nene. Yes. You didn't. You gotta go get the C A K E. Oh, you, you wanna get it? I, she got. I gotta read her stuff first. Oh. So while I'm doing that, you can go ahead and start getting it together. Okay. Cool. Nene. Are we done? Um, pretty much. Oh my god, that had a nice time. I really missed you guys. Yeah, I did too. I got Melly's. Here we go. Melly, you first step. So we just going to go. We have, a, we have a cake. We're going to sing happy birthday. But first, we're going to read things. She's very excited. Yes, yeah, Christina. You want to see it? Yeah, you go ahead and get your stuff together. I got a seat right Nene. here for Nay. Y'all have not seen Skinny Nay Nay. Oh my oh. god. You come around here. Y'all have not seen Skinny Nay Nay. She really is Skinny Nay Nay. Oh my god. Y'all about to be in quite treats. Don't take my lighter. That's how I like incense. This is mine. Get into Hey guys. Get into her. So I told them last week, I said we're celebrating Mama Nay's birthday. It's your birthday this week. Yes, Friday. Are you excited? Yes, the 28th. I'll be 53. Mm, I'm excited for you. Yay! So I told them and they sent in lots of messages. So I'm gonna go ahead and thank read you, some. Thank you, thank you. So the Love first y'all. one is from one of my favorite viewers. His name is Melly. Hey Melly. And he said, This is for Nene's birthday. Tell her I said happy birthday and that I love her spirit. I always tell her when y'all are on live that she reminds me of Loretta Divine. She brings a smile <laughs> to my face every time I hear her voice or when she comes on screen. Happy birthday, wishing you many more of them. Oh, thank you so much, Melly. I love you too. Um, okay, this is coming from one of our other viewers. His name is Juan. Hi, Juan. Tell Mama Nay I said happy birthday and also let her know that I'm very thankful for her amazing and joyful personality. Thank you. Her humor never fails to bring a smile to my face. Let her know she's very appreciated <laughs> oh, all across the country, literally. I wish her many, 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 many more. Much love. Thank you. Thank you. This is from Miss Lee Marie. Hey, Miss Lee. She Marie. said, Happy birthday, Jazzy Lady. Sending love from Ooh. Philly. Love, Alicia. Hey, I love Philly too. This is from our viewer who does our. He we, Have you seen our Instagram page? No. I'm he, runs a, he runs a. He runs out. out like, she, he, like he posts different clips about I'm going to go on. I'm going to go on. I got okay. Instagram page. His name is. My um, friend. I think his name is Khalees. Khalees, you my friend. So I'm he said, um, hi, Mama Nay. I uh, want to tell you happy birthday. You're so amazing and so sweet. I love your energy. Uh, Always keep that beautiful smile. Love, Khalees, a.k.a. Uh, the show. Uh, I love him. I love him. Someone said, happy birthday, Aunt Nay. That's Turn my up. baby. That's my baby, Summer. I love you, too. Thank you. 
Um, Royce said, happy birthday, Mama Nay. Thanks for giving us Tanea. You're welcome. <laughs> I love Tanea, too. That was my biggest thing I did. Um, Great, wonderful thing. Charles said, happy Besides birthday, Nay Nay. Now God in my life. That's the best thing I ever done. Okay, and Tanea was my second. <laughs> Charles said happy birthday Nene. Happy birthday Charles I love you too Mella said happy birthday Ani Nene Happy birthday Mella I love it Um. Okay and last one is from Simone Simone my baby Shout out to everyone's favorite girl Including mine and the most beautiful woman in the world My home girl oh, Nene I, put I love this, her so much Can you listen? She loves <laughs> put this together this poem to go over my favorite things about you l loves the lord e encouraging n nice with the potato salad a always <laughs> confident e easy to talk about easy to talk about basically talk to you about anything oh thank you so much i sweet? love you so much like that that baby poem? yes i love you so much so is there, I mean, before we end out your birthday, is there anything you want to say, like any goals you have for this year, anything you want to talk about this year that was just hard or, you know, going okay. into 53? So y'all know I started my new life journey and my weight loss and it's been really hard mm -hmm. and um, so far I lost 40 pounds Woo! and um, I'm off five different medicines so it's doing really yes, good for me. Yes, I didn't me. know that. Yeah. yeah. So um, it's doing really great. My blood levels came came back, so I'm doing well with that. Mm -hmm. So my goal is to get off the next six. I got six more to go, mm -hmm. so I'm getting off of those six. Mm -hmm. And um, that's it. I don't know how small I'm gonna get. It doesn't matter. It matters about the medicine. Mm -hmm. That's what's that was your goal to get off the medicine. Off the medicine. So if I be skinny, nay nay, I could still be kid. <laughs> Come on to Nana. <laughs> we got a surprise for you. I love surprises. <laughs> I love surprises. They love when we do your voice too. They shouldn't do my voice. I'm going to try it. You know what? Voice. That's going to be my goal. I'm going to work on my voice being more it's been mature. The same voice for Ready? Years. I'm going to try. <gasps> Ready? Before they melt. Oh. Nay Nay, are you happy? I am so happy. Nay, get it this way. Okay. Oh, Nay Nay pose. Hold on, it's a Nay. Got it. Hey. So you gotta make a wish. I make a wish. still love chocolate. Chocolate didn't go away. Good. But it's a lot of things that I don't like anymore. Mm -hmm. And one of them is broccoli. Mm. You really wasn't a big broccoli You never really before. liked broccoli. Well, so it tastes it like fish <laughs> now. It tastes like fish? I don't like it. Yeah. So, but mostly my favorite things are doing well. Chicken, fried chicken still hurt in my stomach, so I'm not oh, know that. messing with that too much. But I try to handle a little bit. Yeah, I can't get with the barbecue. But chicken with gravy is always my favorite. Any meat with gravy, I like. Good. So I'm glad you enjoyed your okay. birthday. We're going so to we'll, we'll, cut. We're going to take it upstairs and cut. We'll Maybe cut. you should have dinner first. Okay, I'm making me some fish because. I can't have um, pasta and they have lasagna upstairs. You didn't like lasagna before you got the surgery. <laughs> right, so it's Nothing's just... really changed. <laughs> Other than I mean, the weight loss. Yeah. yeah. I can't have no noodles, no rice, no salad. Mm. Still can't have that mm. till November the 23rd. That's the day before Thanksgiving. Mm. 
Yeah. What is Thanksgiving going to be like for you this year? Nothing. Well, what, what I'm what I plan is I'm gonna make me a big plate. <laughs> And I'm gonna eat about a half a cup of meat. You hear you, cat? Your daughter calling you. And that's all. Did y'all see my saucy? No, they, they don't care about saucy. So, um. Y'all should love saucy. I love saucy. Mama Nate's leaving. I don't know the next time you guys are gonna see Good her. Good night. Tell them thank you again. Thank you so much for wishing me a happy birthday. I love y'all so much. Next time y'all see her, she's gonna be even smaller. Yeah. I'm working on it. But, um, you guys, I just wanted to say, don't forget that Lots of Fall TV started this week. We had This Is Us this week. We have Grey's Anatomy, How to Get Away with Murder. Don't forget that, um, we, that, we, we didn't review 90 Day Fiance, but it was a shit show again this week. Excuse my language. And, um, yeah, so make sure y'all catch up on y'all shows. I really don't know how I feel about TGIT or Fall Scandal. So, I don't, not I don't, I don't recognize. But, uh, but <laughs> something came on TV good last night. What? After This Is Us. What? I don't... I didn't. Some hospital show. Oh, and 9-11 came that, on too. It yeah. wasn't Grey's Anatomy. I don't like 9-11. Wasn't the show with the guy who... Um, it's a hospital show. Amsterdam. No, it's called Amsterdam. Oh, it is called Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was pretty but good. Was it was pretty good. I don't, pretty good. Good. I don't know. Let's watch t next week and then I'll say whatever. Okay. But it's like a, a, a low-down yes. version of... Grey's Anatomy. We're, we're Grey's ending. Anatomy is the best hospital show on. So, we're, ending this, we're ending this show. Oh, we're, okay. So, go ahead. Alright. Now, if this is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe. We will be here every week with an all-new video. For the people who have been watching, make sure you share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Tell somebody about the show and we will see you guys next week. And you gotta do my class if you say There's my no class. show like the show. If we got it. Know. If, if, if you, you didn't, didn't know, know, now you know. There's no there's show, no show like, like the show. See y'all. Good night. Carrie, I thought you was going to be.